good morning today is thursday october 13th 2022 and it is day number 278 in my fasting journey yesterday i weighed in at 127 pounds even and this morning i am at 126.6 pounds so i have lost four tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 92.4 pounds since the start of my fasting journey so today's weigh-in is not entirely accurate and the reason is because right now as I make this video it's around 2.15 in the morning and I usually weigh myself around 6 or 7 every morning and so um, I'm a little bit early today with my weigh-in but I needed to do my weigh-in a little bit early today because I'm feeling pretty terrible at the moment. Um, I extended my fast out. I'm at the 80 hour mark of round 71 of rolling 72s and my energies um, has started to dip a bit and I need my refeed sooner rather than later. And so as soon as I finish making today's video, I am going to have my meal. And so that's why I weighed myself a little bit early today. <clears throat> but anyways, so um, what I plan on having for my meal today is half a pound of ground beef, which is 576 calories. And I will cook that in two tablespoons of Epic Brands beef tallow, which is 260 calories. And so in total today, I will be having 836 calories for my refeed and um, zero net carbs. And I will season the ground beef with salt, um, garlic powder, and Bragg seasoning, which consists of 24 different herbs and spices. So I'm not really doing anything um, incredibly special to the ground beef today because like I said, it's pretty early in the morning. And so um, I'm just gonna have my meal um, and I know that that will make me definitely feel a lot better. And um, then I'll see if I can, you know, go to sleep for a few hours. But anyways, um, <clears throat> In it, today's video, I wanted to talk about what a typical round of rolling 72s looks like for me. And so basically, um, as soon as I finish my last bite of food, I uh, start my fasting app for the next 72 hours of fasting. And so I use the Life Fasting app and I have a fasting circle in the Life app. And if you would like to join, it's, um, you know, everyone is welcome. And so the link is in the description box below. And also if you, if the link doesn't work, you can, you know, search for the group under the name, which is Victoria Fasting Journey. So anyways, as soon as I finish my last bite of food, I start my, you know, next round of fasting and I go for 72 hours and 72 hours is about my limit. If I go past the 72 hour mark, like I've done, um, you know, with this current round of fasting, I start to kind of like um, go downward um, in terms of my energy and how I'm feeling. And so... Um, for the like first five to um, the six hours after I've had a meal, I just drink plain water if I'm thirsty. And the reason is because I have read that if you um, consume baking soda, um, kind of like close to your meals that interferes with digestion and so there is baking soda in the electrolytes that I drink and so that's why I don't consume any electrolytes um, for like five or or six hours after my meal but as soon as like I get past you know five or six hours then like everything that I drink has electrolytes in it with the exception of one to two cups of ice water that I have um, during the day and so um, I make Cole Robinson's recipe for electrolytes and I think in my video I think it was for day number 226 um, I show you how I make electrolytes and so um, I make my electrolytes in a glass container and I also you know drink my electrolytes from a glass and the reason why is because if you mix your electrolytes in a plastic container um, some kind of like weird chemical reaction will occur and um, the taste will like be off a little bit and if you let it go too long um, like I did one time so one time I made electrolytes in a plastic container and completely forgot about it for about a week and then I came back to it and took a sip and it like completely burned my mouth and I had to spit that out and so don't you know mix electrolytes in a plastic container if you can uh, if you can avoid that and so um, I consume basically that's all I consume is electrolyte water 
that if I was able to um, drink, you know, coffee or tea, then I certainly would. And the reason why I'm not able to drink coffee or tea is because I am very sensitive to caffeine. And caffeine causes me to, like, feel a little panicky and to, like, have anxiety. Um, even the, like, small doses of caffeine that are found in decaf products. And so I did try, you know, earlier on in my fasting journey to kind of, like, um, <clears throat> drink black tea. Um, decaf black tea on fasting days but that just didn't work out for me because I was just like feeling um, very panicky and having like um, anxiety issues and so um, that's not the best state to be in especially when you're fasting you kind of like need to be in the best kind of like mental state that you can be when you're doing something like fasting so that's why I choose not to have you know coffee or tea on fasting days but there um, if it doesn't cause an issue with you then you know go right on ahead and if you need to like add a little bit of heavy cream to your coffee or tea, um, you know, Dr. Jason Fung says that's fine. I think he does that himself on um, fasting days. But anyways, so um, I don't drink flavored electrolytes either. And the reason is because that causes issues for me as well. And so um, when I did my 40 day water fast, when I got to the like halfway point, I decided to start, you know, drinking flavored electrolytes. And I had like this really amazing like strawberry lemonade um, flavored electrolyte that just tasted so amazing to me. And um, but it caused issues for me. At first, I started to stall and then I started to gain weight. Um, I just can't you know, consume electrolytes with um, sweeteners in it. I can't consume anything with sweeteners in it without having issues. And then when I started to detox from the electrolytes, um, that was definitely an unfortunate like um, situation. I had like this severe headache and very um, nauseous. And that is as a result of the, um, you know, stevia that was in the flavored electrolytes. So I stay away from flavored electrolytes while I'm on my fast. And I also stay away from diet drinks as well, just because I do have an issue with sweeteners. And if I didn't have an issue with any of these things, then I would probably, you know, um, be including them on my fasting days. And so, um, if you ever find that you're struggling with your weight on fasting days, um, definitely look at what you're consuming because you might be having like issues with those um, things. And so you might have to um, go completely clean with your fasting like I have to do. So um, as far as weight loss, I usually lose a little over half a pound to like eight tenths of a pound on fasting days. And so um, for me, I was losing, you know, like a little over a pound until I hit the, the um, 170s. And then when I got to the 170s, um, basically I had lost, you know, fat like everywhere that I could and the only place that I had left to go was in my belly area that is like my um, problem area that is where most of my weight goes and when I got to the 170s um, basically people really couldn't tell I had a weight problem because I was wearing um, you know um, these uh, kind of like big sweatshirts and um, these kind of like flowy tops and so that concealed my belly area and so basically um, at this point um, a lot of people in my everyday life actually don't know that I'm still you know losing weight because I just couldn't kind, of, kind of conceal that area um, but anyways so my point is that you will probably lose a little bit more weight on fasting days than I do because you know belly fat is just so incredibly stubborn based on, on my research, it's a different kind of fat than what's on the other areas of the body. And I'm just, you know, actually really grateful that I'm still, you know, losing weight in this area because I have had a lot of people tell me that they haven't been able to lose the belly fat. <clears throat> And so I'm definitely, you know, thankful for fasting because the fasting is really helping me to, you know, get rid of this belly fat, but it is happening at a really like snail's pace. And so basically, if you don't have, you know, um, all this fat like concentrated in the belly area like I do, I think you will see, you know, bigger, um, you know, losses than I do these days. 
But anyways, um, so for the most part, that's all I can think of for, you know, a typical, you know, round of Rolling 72s for me. Um, but if, of course, if you have any questions, you know, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can, you know, leave a comment for me in the comment section here on YouTube. You can send me an email. My email address is in the description box. Or you can, you know, write to me in the fasting app as well. And so, um, anyways, that's today's video. I'm going to kind of like wrap things up and I'm going to have my refeed right now and I will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing Thursday. Take care. Bye.